Okay, ladies, I would like to call the meeting to order for this month. Um, and I thought maybe we could kick this off with everybody just kind of giving a report of um, what they've been up to and what they've worked on for the PTA since we met last. Um, Jill? Okay, first of all, I have to tell you guys, I am so embarrassed about my behavior at the last meeting. And I really felt like I needed to get you guys some gifts to make up for it. Okay, so Jill comes in today with this. Oh, I'm so sorry for the way I acted at the last meeting. I want to give you guys presents and make up for it. She knew exactly what she was saying. She set out to hurt our feelings. She was mean. Here they are. I made notes about each one of you. Last meeting and Katie. Jill. I noticed. You had a little bit of hair on your legs. And so I got you a razor. I know you love it. This Aww. is your present. I have to say, Jill, I, I, I was disappointed the last time, but this time, even more so. I mean, the nerve, the nerve of her to come out with a box of gifts. I mean, she could have come with something nice, but no, not her. They're insulting gifts. She gives me a razor, and you know, I think it was used. I think I, think I saw her own hair in that. And Linda. You know, I thought, yeah, perhaps need a little bit of concealer. <gasps> so I got you a little concealer. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what your behavior was that wanted this, but thank you. I mean, she gives people concealer. I mean, has she looked at herself? Maybe she needs to get something, some putty for the bags under her so-called star eyes. I, you, you know, know what? what? I mean, I'm making up for it now. Are you? Yeah, I am. Because it kind of seems to me like you're trying to make this about you. It's returned. You know, I kind of thought it was my hose last time. It's like, you know, poor Pam. She has acne, and I had to give her some zit cream. So I might want to use a zit zapper. Oh! Since she gave me a zit stick, do I have one zit on this face? I don't think so. I think she can take her zit stick back and use it on herself. Jill, um, again, so... I just wanted you to know that. So, you know, I was the former Mrs. America. I know you really want to be a Mrs. America, which. So, I brought you from my collection. You know what? Before you go any farther, last weekend was the Mrs. America pageant, and I won. Oh, what? What? Okay, well, oh, in that case. Well, in that case, I'll just keep my own tiara and I'll wear it too because okay. I'm former. You might be current. Do you have some paperwork to prove this? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need to see that. So Jill is trying to tell us that she is the new Mrs. America. I don't believe it. I'm going to need to see some paperwork. I'm going to need to see a real crown because really, Jill, Mrs. America, I was Mrs. America. We're not quite even. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Back to my little trailer chest. Okay. And then I felt like maybe you needed to have a little darker eyebrows. Oh. There you go. Oh, gee, thanks. Now, Jill, she went ahead and got us all, like, makeup. I mean, we're sitting here doing our nails and things. Although, in retrospect, I'm kind of thinking, I mean, these are beauty queens. So, I may actually kind of start budding up to these two, uh, Jill and Pandora, to my own benefit, because, of course, I am the president. Um, so I'm going to try to see how I can be the new beauty queen. And I use some of these cute little gift ideas that Jill's giving us um, to help me. And I couldn't see her eyelashes, so I thought maybe these would help. And then I had one other thing I wanted Thank to say you. about... I thought maybe it would be great if we could all have our nails painted for the meetings. Especially if we have other people come, you know, the general PTO people, but not just not on the board. Uh -huh. So I felt like everybody needed to, to paint their nails. Could Can we see yours, Pandora? Could we see no. your nails? Because yours are atrocious right now. Nails. They're atrocious right now. Um, okay, my nails are a little bit atrocious right now because I am doing so much for my community. I don't know if you any of you have heard, I'm, I've taken on a job recently as a caregiver, and it's really taxing physically and emotionally. I think that probably Katie would like the nude, the most natural. Thank you, Jill. Thank you okay. for considering that. Okay. Do you always have to be so nice? I mean, it really is tiring. <laughs> I'm just going to say. And I think Linda would do good with bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So do you want us to do our nails right now? I would appreciate it. I got okay. this line on. All right. I do wonder it's how not gonna do a good look on me. time to do this so often. Like I feel I'm so busy doing I do it every important night. Important things, and I have to try them every night. And I also think that Jill, her husband said that he went to London for two weeks. I think she might want to request some proof from that. That's all. Hmm, I don't know. I see those scratches on your chest, and perhaps you were trying to claw your way up to the top. Perhaps we should ask Mr. Smythe about the scratch on my chest. <laughs> Mr. Smythe? My husband? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Do I sound like I'm kidding? Okay, so who was next? <sighs> Treasurer. Oh, um, well. What's your name? I'm Linda Lee, and I am uh, the treasurer for this PTA group, and I'm coming in new this year. And so I think we can address whether or not Pandora is uh, or was a good PTA president. Um, oh, I was. Ladies, we're coming into this year with a deficit, and that deficit is primarily due to some sort of a purchase of over a... I think it was 300 tiaras um, from last year. And I think the bill came to $17,000. Um, so we, we're running in, in the red to begin the year off. So we're going to have to really think of some Is red good or bad? Red, unfortunately, is bad. And, um, Can we run in the pink? That's really my color. <laughs> All right, Katie, let's have a report from Katie. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Romy. Yes. Well, uh, I've been working on some additional ideas. I, I, I spoke of a few the, the last meeting, but um, I'm all for um, what Linda's saying. We really need to raise some more money. So as the uh, fundraising uh, chairperson, um, I've been researching um, how much it's going to cost for the ink uh, for some tattooing, which I brought up the last meeting. Um, also, too, uh, when we talked about ideas uh, like having the condom machine in the boys' bathroom, I wanted to see the cost of that. So I've been working I'll on I'll tell details. you the cost of that. Pregnancy. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, Kendra, you might want to just wait on, on your thoughts. Uh, I, I'd like to finish, please. Go. Um, I wanted to really, uh, you know, come up with some ideas for those tattoos, too, and I thought, you know, uh, some maybe our, our mascot. I've got two different choices. I think this would be a great fundraiser. We could bring in a lot of money. One for the females and for the males. And what is that? These are the owl. This is the owl. Our mascot. Yes. And what are we going to do with those? Well, we're going to offer these as as, a, as tattoos to our students and parents and raise money. To Katie, raise I, us out of the red. I have a really great idea. I think we'll be the, the judge of that. Those are those are really nice, but have you thought about having like some of our AP art students do some designs for our the Snowcomish Hooters, so they could be student designed mm. tattoos? I would consider that. I would consider I, the that. The Snowcomish Hooters? What, what in the world? That's are what you our thinking. Well, that, so are these real right. tattoos again, or kind of like the rub on? Oh no, on. Romy, these would be real. Yes. Ew. Real. That's sort of invasive. Ew. Doesn't well, it hurt? Like. We want to encourage that. Well, what, what would you you want? Just a little. Well, it would be like putting a sticker yeah, on a Rolls, Rolls Royce, like me. All right. Thank you, Katie. Um, Jane. Well, for you know, I am the events coordinator, and we had our fall kickoff teacher breakfast, and it was um, very well attended by our teachers. I kind of wanted a theme of brain food. You know, kick the year off right. You know, get our teachers pumped up, increase their brain sizes. So we had a, a slate of brain foods for breakfast. We had lots, which is full of our omega-3. Oh, brother. Pandora? <laughs> is that like this? This is my <laughs> evil eye ring that I brought. Oh, 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 giving the finger. Um, we had blueberry muffins, and we had... A side berry juice, and we had some dark chocolate scrambled eggs. It was ew, a big hit. Ew, um, ew. Coming up, we have our Mr. Snowcomish event, which um, this year I'd like to incorporate some kind of more meaningful questions to kind of gauge their intelligence because it's just been about looks and talent. And and what's the problem with that? In real life, I'm sorry, but that's what gets you where you need to be. 
Do I like to um, work on some speakers for this next month, mm -hmm. um, and that's why I'm hoping that we can get some funds raised because speaker at the school. Yes, for the whole student body, we have some new Nobel Prize winners. There's the um, Nobel Prize in Chemistry, um, Stefan Hall, that I was just reading oh. about, and I think he's a very charismatic man that likes to <coughs> wear children. Children. <coughs> Oh, oh, I think Karen's here. Oh. I'll go get the door. Oh, Keep going. Yeah. Do you have any well, fun well, ones in there? Yeah, do you have anything fun? Well, well, again, I talked at the last meeting about Hillary Clinton. We only need to raise two hundred fifty thousand dollars to have her come, and that would be so inspirational to our young women. And how do you suppose we're going to raise two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? You could probably get Hillary's off for a little less. That's a great idea. Yeah, that might have an appeal. To All right, right, Karen is here. Oh, hi, Karen. Oh, hi, Karen. Oh, hi, Karen.